Why don't we make some super cute keychains heading into 2021? You guys, so today our project is gonna be making a, some super cute keychains. I've never made a keychain. I'm always making jewelry. You'll notice that I have on this necklace that I don't I think I did do a tutorial on how to use um, hair bands to make chokers. This is just a stretchy band, which is like the elastic hair bands you can put around ponytails and things like that. So I have that on today to go with my outfit and just some simple plain hoops. So today we're gonna make a cool keychain, maybe two. Let's get started on the project. Who am I? I'm Garlinda and I'm excited to be here with you. So here are the supplies that you're gonna need for your keychains. Of course, I wanna just keep in mind, disclaimer, you can use anything you want to make a keychain. So I'm gonna be using painted bases. I'm specifically gonna be using one of the round bases because I want a round keychain for my purse. I got two super cute purses for Christmas and I was like, I think I want a keychain. Although I have no clue what keys I'm gonna put on there. Maybe I just want it for accessory sake, right? Um, Cause I tend to lose stuff so I may not separate my keys out, but just use it as an accessory to hang from the bag. So you're gonna wanna get your wooden pieces and you're also gonna wanna get some split rings. Now I got these split rings from Michaels. Um, I'm gonna hold this up in case you wanna take a screenshot of it. And actually 28 pieces came in here and these are the 0.94 inches or 24 milliliter split rings. They had several different sizes. I just got the one that seemed most normal for a keychain. And so just to give you an idea of the size of it, almost like the size of a hoop earring or a quarter. So that's how big those are. And then I ended up getting some of these jumbo um, lobster claw clasp. Now you can use, um, you know, several different things. I was trying to open it up to make a keychain, but I just got these. I didn't keep the packaging that these came in, so I'm not able to tell you what size they are, but any lobster claw class that are heavy and heavyweight and durable. You also could use these, which um, are like the type of hook that kind of opens up and slips in. So you can slip it open right in there and it has that little section right there that you could attach a jump ring to. And these are some old jump rings I had. I'm not gonna use those today, but that's just to give you an idea that you can use any type of tools or implements or findings you want to make your keychains. These are the ones I'm gonna use. Also some things that you could use is, remember I got these, maybe you saw my video where I did a Dollar Tree haul and I got these super cute My Little Ponies. You can actually drill a hole into the top of the little pony. You can make earrings out of this, keychains, anything you want. It's so cute. I almost feel bad drilling a hole in it. So we're not going to do that today because no pony will be harmed in the making of this video. But <laughs> um, I'm also thinking about using these beads that I made a while back when I showed you my um, bead haul or one of them. I told you I had made these out of polymer clay. So I'm thinking I may add one or two of the beads from this bracelet and go ahead and take that apart and use those. Now you could also, after you get your bases painted, you could think of any design you want. You could add bead findings. You can put that on with the E6000 glue. So you're gonna need some of that or any durable glue that you like to use. Now, if you're thinking about these for the spring, even though butterflies are not seasonal, I mean, you see, but well, I don't know, I don't see butterflies in the winter, but somewhere in the world there's a butterfly out, right? In the Amazon, the rainforest, somewhere where it's warm. Um, but you can use any type of stickers to put on your keychains. You can use eyeballs. I did a pair of shoes. I don't have them anymore because I wore them out but I had bought a plain pair of black pumps and the, the heels started getting scuffed up and I literally glued eyeballs to the heels. I got so many compliments on those shoes all the time. So I'm thinking about doing a video on jazzing up plain um, shoes or plain black pumps. So you can use eyeballs and you can just use any type of sticker. So keeping in mind, if you're new to my channel, welcome, so excited that you're here. Welcome to all new subscribers. Help me get to a thousand subscribers, that's my goal. I'd love to do that by the end of the month, but the end of the month is tomorrow. So we gotta move quick, right? But any of these stickers that you'd like to use, and again, I got these from Michaels in the sticker section. Overall, the scrapbook and supplies and all that are located. So the other things that you're gonna need, of course, is a bowl with some water. Um, you could also add bead findings if you wanted to. You could have beads dangling from your keychain. And so we're just going to play it by ear on the design of this. You all already know how I am. I don't have a, a pre-design um, idea. I just know I want a keychain. And so the other thing that you're going to need is some paint. So I use the Deco Art Americana acrylic paint. I also use the Craft Smart paints. You already know that if you've seen my other videos. And what you wanna do is you just wanna pick out a bunch of colors that you like. And because I'm just gonna be doing an abstract design on the keychain, 
I picked out all these colors that just kind of spoke to me. I love um, like oceanic type colors. I love any type of pastels. So actually I love the entire rainbow. <laughs> so you're gonna need some paint. You're gonna need any kind of brush that you wanna use. These are my two favorite brushes and they're not special at all. I use um, the acrylic brushes. This one is actually, I think, real hair, which I don't always like. No, this is a synthetic brush. So these are synthetic brushes. I don't like real hair because they tend to get in your design and then you got to fish them out later on so we're going to use just two brushes and then to attach the findings if you're using any type of split ring or jump ring you're going to need your round nose pliers and then to open up um, or secure the hooks you may need your flat nose pliers so let's get started and we're going to start first with our paint design over off to the side i have some water and then you all already know that i like to use these really cute plates from the dollar tree to, um, to paint on. So I'm gonna go shake up the paint because we don't need to bore you with that. You could also use a paint plate um, if you wanted to. I'm probably gonna try to locate my paint plate so I don't just dirty up a plate for no reason. So we'll be right back. The thing you're gonna need is a drill or anything that you can use to punch a hole or to place a hole inside your keychain so that you can add your um, your jump ring finding, et cetera. Now you could glue it. I realize that I'm gonna need a larger hole than this actually can create. So I'm gonna have to um, work at making the hole large enough in order for um, my jump ring finding. Sorry about that. So I am gonna have to use that in order for my jump ring finding to fit through there. We're gonna have to make it a little bit larger. So I'm gonna go do that. We'll be right back. And this is a Dremel Light. I got it from Lowe's is not gonna come with the um, findings that you need to drill your earrings. You're gonna buy the bits separately and I'm just gonna hold this up, up here so you can screenshot um, like that number right there in the details. Let me see if I can get it to focus better. Okay, and then it's called a Dremel light and it is a cordless drill. trying to see if I could do that better. But anyway, we'll figure that out at the end. So I just kept moving the drill around inside the hole until it got the size that I wanted because that's a really small drill bit. So I just kept moving the drill bit around in a circular motion until it made that drill bit opening large enough. So let's see if this will actually fit through. I'm not even sure these are jump rings. I don't even know where I got those from. These are actually O-rings. So I'm going to use the wire cutter to see. Oh, never mind. I have some larger jump rings that may be sturdy enough to work. So let's see. I feel like they are. So I'm just going to use a regular jump ring that I already have, which is like an earring jewelry finding. And let's see if that will work inside here. I just want to figure all this out before we start painting and then we get our design done. So that should be fine. And then let's see if it's sturdy enough to accompany that. Yeah, so that's good to go. So we can go ahead and take this off and we can start painting the design. Just wanted to be sure. Now you may want a, um, a heavier looking jump ring, but I just feel like that's fine. That way I'm not gonna fight with that O-ring. Although I could cut it with a pair of wire cutters and open it up. It's just a personal keychain, so I don't feel like that's necessary. So let's go ahead and get started. And I know that some people like to paint their wooden bases with Mod Podge first. I tried that before, and I don't know. I didn't care too much for that. So we're just going to start out. I'm going to wet the brush, and we're just going to start out painting an abstract design. I realize I need okay, paper. so now we're ready to get started painting. And I'm just going to randomly pick paint in any colors. And you pick whatever you like. Again, I share with you that I love oceanic colors and pastels. And I just want this to be like a work of art type keychain. So I'm just gonna randomly do bits all around. I like how that's looking. And I probably will um, rinse off my brush in a second because I don't want it to get muddled and start giving me like browns and stuff like that. What are y'all's plans for the New Year's? I know that, I think we still have a curfew. Honey, we still have a curfew? Uh, Even though I don't plan on going anywhere anyway, I was just wondering. And so, 
you're just painting and you're just coming up with a random pattern. I think that's really pretty. And again, keeping in mind whatever items you're going to be adding to, you know, your keychain. It could be the butterfly. The only reason I probably wouldn't use those butterflies, which I got from the Dollar Tree. I might not have mentioned that. I got these from the Dollar Tree in a bunch of different colors. And I made earrings with those on another video. And they're super cute, but because they're 2D, one of the top butterflies might um, fall off. But if you decide, you can remove the top butterfly and then just use the bottom butterfly and make butterfly keychains. These would make excellent gifts. These would make excellent items to start your business with. Hint, hint, clue, clue. We keep talking about that. Oh, God, I'm like ugly. <laughs> And so that's what it looks like. So I'm about to go back over it and drop my little design. But you need to think about having your business for 2021. We talked about that, right? So what could you sell these for? You want to research and see what people are selling keychains for and then how abstract are you going to make your design? How unique is it going to be? Is it going to look different from everybody else's? I noticed that everybody is doing resin keychains, right? And so maybe you don't want to work with resin or maybe economically, you know, it costs too much to work with resin. You can get these wooden pieces from the Dollar Tree. I mean, so inexpensively. I got these from Michael's, um, of course, but they come in a bag of like tons of them, right? So you can make so many of these. We could add some purple in here if we wanted to. I like how it's turning out. I'm probably going to add a little bit more of the cream color. I think that looks really pretty. So what I'm going to do is just clean the brush off right quick and get the paint off the table. <laughs> clean that off. And then we're going to add a little bit more of the cream color. But also what we're going to do is we're going to paint the back. And I'm probably going to put a coat of triple thick on this. So we're going to end up doing more than one of these because we're going to have to have drying time and all that jazz. So one more little scoosh of the cream colored paint. And I think I want to do one more dot of lavender. And I like how that turned out. So we're going to sit that over to the side to dry. And then we're going to do a teardrop shape one. And I may, I don't think I'm going to switch up colors since we already have the paint out. And I don't like to waste art supplies and things like that. Somebody gave me the idea to have wet wipes on the table, and I still have not used that idea yet, although I thought it was an excellent idea. Obviously, I'm a late bloomer when it comes to excellent ideas sometimes of that nature. <laughs> so anyway, got that cleaned up. So now let's go ahead, and we also have an oblong one we could do, but let's start with the teardrop. So I'm going to go ahead and drill the hole in the teardrop, and we're going to come back, and we're going to paint a design on this one. And I think I want to add some red to this design. Be right okay, back. So let's make this one some different colors. We went on and put the hole in here as well. Super cute. And these could even be necklace bases. So it could actually hang on some strings. You could do like the wooden farmhouse beads, which are the chunky, chunky plain wooden beads that look like this, but they're actually wooden and a lot of people paint them. You could either spray paint them or paint them by hand, whatever you prefer. So we're going to start out with some yellow and do some red and do some green. I love how that looks so far. And it has like a primary look to it, which I actually like. And then let's start adding a few other colors as well. I like how the red stands out. And these are just little works of art. And isn't that what art is? And that's what designing is all about, is just making your own statement with art pieces. And so that's why I keep talking to you about having a jewelry business, because it's what you want to make. Now, of course, you want it to be sellable. <laughs> And I'm sure if you're creating it, that it is. But if you like it, someone else is going to love it. So look how pretty that is. I'm going to do the edges. I mean, and we could just make squillions of these. You could just make tons of earrings and you could have your children, you know, included in the process. Listen, think about it. Like whenever um, they have the jewelry that comes from like Africa, Indonesia, India, and indigenous tribes and how it creates a job or like a, um, a community business for women and people in third world countries and places like that. 
how creative and cool would that be for you to do it right here in the U.S. and include your children or the neighborhood kids? Let them have their own business. Cottage house industry, that's the word I was looking for, right? There's nothing stopping us from doing the same thing right here and creating jobs and income for other women. I should have left that blue. So let me go back and take that out. I had to go messing with something. So let's see. Nice. So pretty. So we're going to sit that one off to the side to dry. That's what it looks like so far. And these are going to be keychains. And so just think about it when you want to make someone a handmade gift, you want to make them something to remember you by. I even think I just had the idea now that I'm sharing this with you is this would be such a great idea for um, home gifts that I could give my clients in real estate. So, you know, are you in real estate or you're a mortgage lender? You know, would you want to give someone a hand painted or a handmade keychain? Because I always struggle with closing gifts. Like, what should I give? What should we, you know, and it's always do the same thing, you know, like gift cards and things like that. But why not give someone something memorable, a keychain? I remember hand painting glasses for one of my clients. They love those. I thought that was a really great touch. So I'm going to go clean my hands, clean off this brush, and then we're going to get this one painted, and then we're going to let them dry. So now we're going to do this one, and I decided that we're just going to use random of all the colors. And we're going to do a nice coat. You may be able to hear my um, daughter and my husband in the background. They're watching and laughing at watching videos and laughing at videos. <laughs> so we're just going to do random designs like we were doing before. And again, I just want mine to look like abstract works of art. I actually thought about doing some canvas painting, but I'm not, I'm going to be honest, I'm not confident enough to do that because with such large space, what if it doesn't look right? I don't know. Do any of you all do canvas art? I saw where you could take canvas and paint on it and then cut it out and make um, earrings out of it, but I haven't tried that yet. Let me know what you think. Maybe we do a um, tutorial on that. Let me know if you'd be interested, and that might be something I'd consider doing. So look how pretty that one is. And so that came together really quickly. I think I just missed a spot over there. So we're just going to do the sides. And then these are really um, thick coats of paint, so they're gonna take some time to dry. You won't see how long it takes, but basically I'm gonna go cook dinner and come back, and then we'll paint the back. Now I could um, use a blow dryer to speed it up, so when I get through cooking dinner, if they're still not dry, then I'll speed it up with a blow dryer. But I don't want my paint to crack, and sometimes I think if you get too much heat, that can happen. Just my thought process. So I'm gonna put a little bit more yellow right there. I think that's so incredibly pretty. So let's let those dry. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more something right there. And then right in there, I feel like it needs something. Let's see what I wanna do. That was too close to what was already there. Oh, let's do some light color. So it's quite beautiful. They're also different. So let's sit those to the side and then we'll be right back after they dry. Good morning. So we actually, I let these dry overnight because I actually put a coat of triple thick on them. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like right quick. Let's just get a clean sheet of paper. These things tend to show up better on a white background. So I used triple thick. Many of you know this is my favorite glosser. Um, by Deco Art. I got it from Hobby Lobby for $6.99. I'm gonna hold it right there so you can take a screenshot. It tends to be out of stock right now. I don't know why. For a lot of people are just ordering it through online shopping. And maybe that's why they're out of stock. But look how pretty they turned out. I just wanted a clear gloss um, coat just to seal the paint. The backs we painted um, to match the front. Not match, but you know what I mean. Like in that same splosh technique. I didn't put a coat on the back, but I probably will put a coat of Mod Podge like a matte or um, a gloss finish back there just so it um, protects the paint from chipping and stuff like that. So I'll do that once we get finished with the front. So now what I'm gonna do is you gotta decide on your design. And the butterfly was just calling my name um, for one of these. And so let's see how we can go about adding the butterfly. Remember I told you these are 2D butterflies I got from the Dollar Tree. So this piece will come off. Now you can pull it off and glue it down separately if you want to with super glue or um, 
any type of, I use E6000 glue. So what I'll probably do, I'm just gonna take it off and see how I like it on the design. For, well, we could lay it on there first. So this is the one I'm considering having the butterfly on. I think that's gonna be really pretty. So let's take it off and we're gonna glue it down. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna, now these butterflies can be a little bit tricky because they have a full background. So what happens is they tend, the edges can roll up. So you have to be careful taking it off and it can tear. They're not super fragile or anything like that, but once the edges roll up, they act pretty funky. So, <laughs> so I'm gonna let go of him by the wing. Let's move those out of the way and just work with this one for now. And, <clears throat> sorry about that. I don't think we'll need any glue on the back of him because these stickers are pretty secure. But once he goes down, he's down. So I don't think it'll be easy to pull him back up. So I wanna be careful with how we're laying him down and just smooth out the wings and kind of roll him or her. She can be a girl or a boy butterfly. Butterflies, I don't need to know. Or do butterflies have a gender? So <clears throat> that's a little crooked. So I'm gonna have to try to see if I can take it off. I noticed that it's not lined up with the hole. Okay. Let's see Ooh, how easily he might come up. Let me stand up so I can see, make sure. Cause I need to line it up with the um, top of the keychain that we have right there. That's better, so thank God. So let's push him down. Now you could put some glue on here if you want to. I'm just choosing not to. And then I'm just pressing the center part down <clears throat> where the wings are for the butterfly. <clears throat> Excuse me. So look how super cute, see that is. So I do like that. I am gonna glue him down later on. For now, we're just gonna get the design finished. So I decide, decided, yeah, my coffee has not kicked in, that I'm either gonna use the pearls, I think will be really pretty, or do I wanna use the little flowers? I think I like the pearls. So we're gonna add a little bit of glue to the back of some of these pearls. Again, I use E6000. And you can use a, um, what do you call it? a toothpick to apply your glue, but sometimes, you know, I use the end of these acrylic brushes to apply stuff. I'm gonna take the first little glue and put it, let's put it under there, cause I didn't, it was, um, it wasn't super sticky. So I'm gonna take that, I'm not gonna use that little piece of glue. So we're gonna use, these come in different sizes. I got these from, I think I got these from a the Dollar Tree, but I don't remember now. So, we're gonna use those two sizes, I mean, those two right there on the end. So let's take you off. And they are stickers on the back, so you could stick them straight down, but I just don't wanna worry about it coming off since we're gonna be you know, handling this as a keychain, and it's gonna be in your pocketbook or wherever you keep your keys and things like that. So I figured that we may wanna make it a little bit more secure. So we wanna line it up with the top hole up there. So you wanna make sure that's in alignment. So I'm just lining it up, making sure. You wanna make sure that this, that a little pearl is in alignment with the top of the keychain so that you have a uniformed and symmetrical design. So that's gonna be pretty. And then I'm gonna do one more at the top of the butterfly. And we're gonna let this one dry and then we'll add the keychain component. We're just gonna keep them simple super cute. And again, you can design it however you want, but I think these would make such great gifts. I think they would also make um, really great um, money makers for your craft project. If you want to earn money, you know, selling your crafts, I think these would be perfect for that. And so what I had decided, remember I thought about hanging something from these, but I think they're just going to be really pretty in their own right the way we're designing them or decorating them. So that's the first one. We're gonna let it dry, I'm gonna sit it off to the side. Now with this one over here, I had already decided that I wanted to use these blue stones lined up somehow, but I'm trying to think also 
what else I potentially wanted to add to them. So because I have two of the same stone right here, I could either do two of the light ones, I could do two of the darker blue ones. I think I really like those, so I'm gonna use those two. That one has some glitter or something on it, let's see. I don't know what that is. Let me go see if I can clean that off. So because that one had a nick or something on it, I'm gonna use two other ones. And so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use one of these really pretty yellow stones as a design in the center. And so our keychain is actually gonna look like an earring. Isn't that cool? Like I was like, these resemble earrings. So super pretty. So of course you wanna make sure that you're lining up your design so when you're putting it down you want to make sure it's in alignment with the top of the keychain so we're going to put that one in the center and then even though i don't have two of those it doesn't really matter to me if the blue ones don't match up i just like the design idea of it so we're going to put those on there And again, these are already stickers in their own right, but at the same time, let's just say if you're gonna sell these after you create them, you wanna make sure they're gonna stay down. So now I'm trying to decide, do I wanna use the light blue one or do I wanna use the dark blue one? I think I wanna stick with the dark blue family. So we're gonna put this one down. You could do seashells. Like I have so many shells we've gotten from the North Carolina seashore here where we live. And, um, but I just feel guilty drilling holes in them or doing something to them because they just seem like part of home, right? <laughs> but I do have a ton of seashells that I wanna make some jewelry with and make some things with. So that's something else you could do. I think that one is really pretty. So we're gonna let that dry and then we'll add the components and now we have this one left to do. And so these are probably more fancy than I had initially designed them to be or was thinking about them being. Um, but I don't know, that's just, that's how I want them. So let's see if we wanna add any of these or if we wanna get something else. I'm thinking for these, I wanna do a different type sticker. So let me see what else I have on hand, which there's tons of stuff over here. And then I'll be right back to show you how we're going to finish this one up. But for now, I think this one's going to be a really beautiful keychain. I think that's going to be an incredible keychain. Let's see what else we have to finish this one. Oh my gosh. So look, I forgot I had these. I think they are so cute. Y'all, anybody that knows me, I love Mickey and mini ears. They are just the cutest things known to me and we went to disney world it was all i could do not to buy up all the ears that they had i didn't get any at all because i couldn't decide on a pair <laughs> my um 14 year old i think she bought two pair but it was too too many decisions but look how super cute they are so i think they'll be adorable on a keychain together so that's what we're gonna do and then we're gonna put some little white polka dots on the base just to tie it in so let's do probably the polka dots first so then we go to glue the little heads down and so these are actually you'll notice that there are buttons on the back but I'm just going to cut the button backs off so let me grab my dotting tool and some white paint be right back okay you guys so I'm just going to put a few dots around the edges so that way it ties in the little dots that are on the mini ear the mini bow and Mickey's little bow tie area. So we're just gonna put a few dots. I'm just using a dotting tool. If you're new to my channel, um, remember I shared with you, you can get these dotting tools from, um, I think this one came from Sally's because I used to do nails in my past life. And you can get these though from the beauty supply store because they're actually nail art. It was a nail art tool, but I think they also sell these at, um, Michael's, Hobby Lobby. I think they even have them at the Dollar Tree. So, I'm gonna add one more dot there, but I think ugh, that's just gonna be weird if I put it there, because it won't be centered. But what the heck? Okay, so we got all the little dots on, and now what I did was I cut the back off of 
I cut the button off. I just used a pair of wire cutters and snipped it off the back. It went flying across the room. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to go find that as soon as I finish this video. But let me go clean off the dotting tool from the paint and then we're gonna glue their little faces down and let this dry and then we're gonna finish it up. Cool, so because I have a client, I have to hurry up. So we're gonna go ahead and get their little faces glued down. I think we're gonna do mini at the top only because It'll make it stand out. And you do want to put a good amount of glue on here because this is a keychain, so it'll be being handled quite a bit. I'm just going to put it down the center, but let me go ahead and just add a little bit to the ear area too. So it doesn't have any reason to lift up. And this is pretty secure glue. Um, so let's put her down. Oh, she's so cute. Uh, and press down. Make sure it stays on there. And y'all just kind of make these things up as I go. I never have a pre-planned idea of what I'm gonna make. In my mind, I know I wanna make something, but I don't always know how it's gonna turn out. I always know it's gonna be cute, but I just don't know like what the end result's gonna be. So let's move Mickey over a little bit. And I noticed that some glue came out from behind him. So I wanna clean that up right quick before it dries. Oop. I scooched up one of the dots. Let's see. Let's fix him. So I gotta go clean up one of the dots that got messed up and then we'll be right back. But other than that, Mickey is super cute and good. Okay, so we totally fixed Mickey. And now I wanna show you how they turned out. I mean, is that not the cutest in creation ever? So that's gonna be a super sweet keychain. Look how pretty that one is. And we're gonna go ahead and add the components, even though I know that they still need to dry a little bit more. But I wanna get this video finished up before I head out to meet my client. So, I'm going to get a clean sheet of paper, but let's just flip that over. That's what we'll do. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add the keychain components. So I already told you what you need. So we're just gonna go ahead and add these. And remember the other day, I was sharing with you that you can just use um, regular jump rings is what I'm gonna use. But if you have something or that you feel like isn't, I mean, it's a little bit more secure, you can use that as well. So I'm just gonna grab mine. But these are pretty strong. The ones that I'm using, I feel like they're strong enough to hold these components. And I feel like I mean, cause you're not gonna be flicking your purse around. Most of us are pretty gentle with things, but if you feel like you're heavy handed with stuff and you tend to break things easily, then maybe you wanna use a more secure jump ring. But I'm using this size, which I don't know what size that is because I think I threw the paper away. Let's see. Just trying to see if I still had it in the bag, but I didn't. Sorry. I don't still have it in there. Okay. So let's go ahead and open it up and you pull it towards you. And we're gonna go from the back because I put the gloss on the front. We don't wanna scratch that up. So we're just gonna open it up and go from the back. I may have to widen it a little bit more. We don't wanna distort it, but we wanna open it enough to slide through that ring. I mean, through that hole. This one wants to give me a bit of trouble today, but you're going to do what I said, do. Okay. So there we go. So we got that opened up. And then we want to go ahead and put our keychain on. Close it up. And if you separate it that way away from yourself, you're not going to have to worry about... Um, the, the ring, the jump ring not going back into place. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna push our hook onto the keychain, and there you have it. So that's our first one. I think it came out so beautiful. I'm gonna sit that one off to the side. Let's get this one done over here. I love these. I'll see if I can find a pocketbook that might match. My purses are all kind of ratted out, except for the two I got for Christmas, but they have gold finishes, so they won't match perfectly, but I may show you on those just so you can see what it looks like as a finished product. But if it doesn't look right, we're just gonna look here on paper. <laughs> look how cute. 
I love it. So now Mickey and Minnie are still wet, but I'm gonna go ahead because I wanna finish them up so you can see them as a finished product as well. And <clears throat> don't worry, they're gonna sit and dry the rest of the afternoon while I'm out and about with clients. I already had a jump ring. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna try not to touch those dots because they're still wet. touch anything sorry I was off screen for a second Let's, and these are really pretty easy I mean these are easy to put on here these little eye hooks oh my gosh are they not the cutest ever I'm gonna scream but my family still sleeps so I don't want to scream so let's get this stuff out of the way over here and then what I'm gonna do is put them on a clean sheet so you can see what they look like and be right back. And I hope you enjoyed this video making just super cute hand painted keychains with me and that you will give them a try and you will launch your business in 2021. Happy New Year, stay tuned. Let me show you what these look like on a clean sheet of paper. I hope you enjoyed making these with me. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up.